Hey YouTubers, it's Dansky. In this video, I'm going to be showing you something that I wish someone someone had shown me uh, a long time ago, and that's how to draw a heart um, the easy way. Because in the past, I would get the pen tool and I would try and draw a heart, and I would do it, and it just wouldn't look right. And then I'd try and flip it over, and you can do it that way, but it's just a bit of a pain. There's a much easier way to get a perfectly symmetrical heart. And what you can do is just create a rectangle, something like that. And we'll just swap the fill and the stroke and get rid of the stroke altogether and just so it's black. Actually, let's make it red because it's a heart. It should be red, probably. Anyway. So we've got this, we're going to go up to Effect, Stylize, Round the Corners, and we're going to just increase that until our corners are nice and rounded, like so. That looks absolutely fine. And then what we're going to go and do is click this and the Rotate tool, and holding Shift, just click and rotate so it snaps to 45 degrees. We can probably make that a bit shorter actually. Then what we're going to do is go to edit, go copy, and paste in place. And just drag that one out. And then go up to object, transform, reflect, and reflect it along the vertical axes. And then pressing command Y on the Mac, control Y on the PC. We're going to just drag these together so they line up. And they should snap to place if you've got smart guides on. If you haven't, they're up here, down here. And you'll see smart guides just have the green lines that show you where elements are going to snap together. Okay, so at the moment that doesn't look much like a heart. But effectively, this this big uh, kind of empty sort of triangle space here, that's going to be the dip in our heart. So if I bring this one closer together, a bit closer, so there hopefully you can see just by following my cursor where the heart shape is going to be so you can adjust the depth of the dip just by moving one of these shapes horizontally closer to the other okay so I'm happy with that dip there I'm ready to create the heart what's the next step but well, we're going to select both of these shapes because at the moment these aren't recognized as rounded corners they just have a round corners effect on. So to turn this into a final shape, go up to Object and Expand Appearance. Now you'll see here that now it's created those shapes and the effect or the appearance has disappeared from this palette. So now we've kind of finalized this shape's appearance. So we can't go and edit the radius of those corners anymore. But that's fine because they're perfect anyway. So let's switch back to this view. And we're going to select all these shapes. And if you watched one of my previous videos recently, we looked at the Pathfinder tools. And I'm going to show you why the Divide option, that's this bottom left one, is actually useful now. I've actually found a use for it, apart from just pulling shapes apart. So with both shapes selected, if we click that, we can then, using the Direct Selection tool, drag out these bottom parts, and we're left with our heart. And we can delete these bottom parts altogether now. Let's just flip back to preview mode. Okay, so we've got our shape. It's still made up of three parts. Simply what we do to turn it into one shape is just select all three parts and then go up here and click on Unite. And there you go. You have a complete heart shape. I really do hope that was helpful because when I found that out and did that tutorial myself, it was incredibly helpful and I was shocked at how simple it was. Um, so if you did like that video, just leave a little like below. Let me know what you thought in the comments below and I'll see you in my next video.